All right, my viewers and fellow ladies, I want I want to talk today about something that is probably never discussed with your gynecologist. And I recently learned about this online. And any of you ladies that have had or are considering an endometrial ablation, please pay close attention to this video because you might be sorry later on that you had it. I had the Thermo Choice balloon ablation and two years later I started having problems. My cervix is almost scarred shut. I have now what is called hematometra, which means blood fluid is building and collecting in my uterus. And the only way they can treat that is to either do a hysterectomy, keep draining it, or do a leap and take out the scarred and stenosed section of cervix. But I drew a diagram so you guys will better understand what I'm talking about. We'll start with the normal anatomy. This is a normal female anatomy here, the normal cervix, which is supposed to be a slit, with the red being endometrium lining. As you can see, the whole cavity is not filled like mine is. And um, tubes and that. Now here is what it looks like after an ablation and after having your tubes tied. The whole thing fills up with blood, which cannot escape through this little tiny opening, which is scarred just above the cervix, and stenose, which needs to be opened up by a leap procedure if they can't dilate it. But as you can see, blood collects in the tubes. Mine have bands on them, or one does. The left one fell off, but fluid collects, the blood collects in the tubes and in the cavity of the uterus after an ablation causing what's called a hematometra and post ablation tubal ligation syndrome. This is very real ladies and if you're having pain if you're having pain months or years after you've had an ablation Go to your ER right away or go to your gynecologist and bring this up to them because you may need further surgery to treat this. And anyone that's considering an ablation, I highly advise you not to. Please do your research online under endometrial ablations before considering because knowing what I know now, I wish I'd never had it done. It totally made everything worse. I'm in such severe pain I can't survive without my pain pills even that I've tried to get off numerous times. But I wanted to make this video to make everybody more aware of this syndrome because I haven't seen any other videos on YouTube about it. Thanks for watching.